Hello Pisces. Welcome to Playa de Carmen, Mexico. Hello, that is the announcement. This is my first, first um, um, reading that I'm doing from here, okay? I'm super excited. I'm going to sage the house. I'm going to go buy some candles, and I'm going to get all that done, okay? So, yeah, this is going to be fabulous because I'm going to have everything done the right way. All right, so this is a cute little place I got, and um, I got this here, you know, to come home and just leave Jersey and have somewhere to go. So that's what I did, and so this, I done stayed to the house. I'm going to go get my candles, and um, from where I want to be and where I need to go, it's like um, they say it's a three-hour ride in the airplane from where I'm at. So I will be taking that flight because that is things that I need to do there, okay? I finally got the internet working. That's why you didn't see me yesterday. So thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you a million. Thank you, thank you for all your support. Thank you for being loyal to me. Thank you for all the prayers and all the great wishes you wish me. I wish to you too. For you too. Uh, Pisces, um, I want you to know, like I said, don't ever um, be afraid to take a chance. Even though I'm here, I'm still learning. This is my only second day here. So it's an adventure, and I'm willing to learn everything. It's been raining a lot. So for that reason, hold on, Pisces. For that reason, I'm, um, but I'm still going because I got a vehicle. I bought a vehicle. All right? So uh, thank you for all those who get private readings from me. Sorry if I'm chewing and talking. That's not good. But thank you for all those who get private readings for me. And and know why I'm in Mexico. I'm still doing readings. Nothing is stopping. All right. Um. Thank you for all those who donate to my channel, who come on my web, and purchase items. And before I leave here, I will be taking a lot of stuff home from here. All right. So here we go. Here we go, Pisces. Here's your reading. I will be happy when I get a candle burning in here. I got to get a candle. All right, now here we go. All right, Pisces, here we go. Here we go, Pisces. Ooh, three cards fell out. Three cards fell out. The first card you got, the Queen of Cups. All right? The second car you got, the Queen of Swords. The third car you got is the Hermit. Pisces, I feel like you don't went from your heart, caring, loving, nurturing, giving everything you got to a person, from very in tune, know what you're talking about, can see through people. Okay, and I ain't got no glasses. That's why I'm up here doing this. Here we go. There it is. Um, I feel like whatever is going on with you, you're very compassionate, you're very psychic. I feel like you always put someone before you, and I know that because I am a Pisces just like you. I feel like um, whatever it was that we was really connecting ourselves with, with these people, I felt we are like moving away from that. I feel like now things are starting to be different. Like we're thinking different. We're acting different. We're not sitting there in the love zone. It is what it is. Okay. I also feel a lot of y'all really, well, I'm not saying a lot of us. I'm saying all of us who are watching me do tarot card readings and all of that. I feel like y'all really in tune with this. I feel like a lot of y'all are starting to do your own tarot. Um, wanting to learn about it. I I also feel like you're going to the beach meditating. 
trying to get all that salt water on you, taking salt water baths. But I also feel like you are not looking like for that connection. I feel like that love connection, it is, if it is, if it ain't, it ain't. I feel like one time you you thought about, well, I don't like being alone, but I feel like right now you're standing up. And whatever you're standing up for, Pisces, I feel like you don't went from the 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 uh the Queen of Cups, which is Pisces, to the Queen of Swords, which is seeing things for what it is. Cutting people off that don't serve you. Um, you're really not trying to hear shit. Everything they say has to make sense to you. You see things for what it is, black and white. You're being balanced in your life. I feel like love ain't a major thing in your life anymore. I feel like you're moving on to see yourself in a whole new way. Moving on, um, I, I guess you got suitors, I could say. I feel like you got a lot of people um, that are looking at you. But none of this stuff is in your plan. I feel like right now you are like... Um, looking beautiful, elegant, okay? I feel like you, you're still looking at the ocean. It's like, it's like you went from caring to saying, fuck you. I might as well join these motherfuckers. I might as well act like them. I, I might as well think like them, not act like them. Actually act like them too, act like you don't give a fuck. Think like a man. And act like a woman. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're looking at everything exactly for what it is. And you know if they fucking lie. Because you can see right through them. Alright? You're standing up for yourself. Okay? You are enjoying your life. It's, I feel like you're really going within yourself. Um... You're sitting here looking serious, and then both of these, you're looking serious. It's like whatever it is coming your way, it's all seriousness. I feel like whoever and whatever's going to be coming your way is all looking at the ocean as far as the eyes can see, okay? The horizon pushing you to move forward, okay? Looking at everything Black and white, making sense of everything. You're not sitting here worrying about what, who's thinking what of you. You're actually going to have fun. All right? You're starting to go out. You're starting to take trips. You're starting to do things that you're saying, it's time for me to get the fuck out of this house. It's time for me to go visit Miss Lisa. It's time for me to, let's go. You're like, I need to get up out of here. I feel like we have been um, the hermits for a long time. And the hermit comes out after the queen of swords, all right? You're being uh, releasing situational people that no longer serve you. Seeing a harmony and difficult situation. Like you start to see everything that people did to you that was fucked up. You looking at that shit and starting to laugh at the shit. Because it's starting to make sense. It's starting to say, well, damn, these motherfuckers was nothing but users. They really didn't have shit going on. Absolutely nothing for me. Okay, that's how you're looking at me. You're like, shit, this shit is not even worth even fucking fucking with. Okay, because you're focusing on your career and what makes you happy. All right? Now, you might have been getting a divorce. A lot of y'all been getting divorces, separated, separated from people. Um, uh, if y'all were seeing people that were married with other people, you're leaving their asses too. I just feel like you're cleaning the house. But now I see you again going to that hermit mode. Being to yourself. All right? Spending time in a peaceful meditation. Um, and um, meaning that meaningless solitude. Uh, shining the light as an example to others. And this happens when you start going within yourself. You start saying, fuck a nigga, fuck a bitch. I can fucking do this. I can, it's too much going for me 
for me to sit here worrying about somebody don't give a fuck about me, put me third, second, or fourth to anybody else. You're making yourself first and first all the way. But in a, in a way, you're helping a lot of people see themselves. People are saying, damn, Miss Lisa, if you can do it, I can do it. All right? And I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. Check it out. You're becoming, it's like you are, people look at you like you look at me. Like you said, Ms. Well, where's Miss Lisa? Whoa, 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 what's up? Is Miss Lisa all right there? Okay? Because you look at me as a spiritual mentor to you in your life. All right? Because I'm not going to guide you wrong. Everything I tell you is right. And it's real. It's keeping it real. If anything. Okay? Um, you're self-discovering who you really are. Like, you are fucking moving around, honey. Now, listen to me. Like, you know, Pisces, this is how we get down. Uh-uh. And shit ain't right. When we get there, we like ready to get the fuck out of there. Like, I'm like, y'all, I need to catch the next plane to fuck home. If my internet ain't working, I need to get the fuck. Honey, I went so crazy. And I'm not lying to you. Listen to this shit. Look how God works. I slept like an angel all night. I slept beautifully. But... When I woke up, it seemed like I was asleep a long time, and I wasn't. I wasn't asleep a long time at all. I was exhausted from trying to get this internet to work because I couldn't connect to you. So now my girlfriend that lives here, she's in the States because she had lost a passport, right? Look how God works. So he gave me time to get here, right? Then the next day was this morning. I text her early in the damn morning. Probably walked her ass up and said, I'm getting the fuck out of here on the next flight. I told her this. This must have been around 6 in the morning. Let me tell you what she did. By the time I went to brush my teeth, because I brush my teeth while I'm taking a shower. I do all that. Brush the teeth, take a shower. Oh, yes, I do. I don't sit over a sink and brush my, my teeth. I be in a shower brushing my teeth. I got everything in my shower, Okay. So by the time I went to get in the shower and brush my teeth, the door was, somebody was knocking at the door. I opened up the door. She got the people to come and connect the service, people to come and um, fix the air on my car, people to come. She had people coming in here left and right, woo, 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 woo. Within seconds, I have internet, I have everything working. Because she know one thing about me. If I don't have my internet, I'm getting off. Out of wherever I'm at. Because my internet is everything to me. It's me connecting to you. My family. My soul family. I felt like I was lost. I said I'm getting the fuck out of here. And I mean the fuck. If I can't think straight over my internet. Then they, it's like having a toothache. A headache you can't get rid of. Okay. Now check it out. I can get rid of any motherfucking body. Any damn human being. But one thing I can't get rid of is not connecting to you. I, if I can't connect to you, honey, I got to go. Okay? And that's how I felt. So I called her up. I don't want to get rid of you. I want to be a tick on your skin. I want to be the tattoo on you. Okay? I want to be that mark that lives within you because you live within me. We all want and I made a vow that I would never separate from what I do. And I felt lost. I felt lost without my altar. Okay? So after I'm done doing this video, I will hit the go and go get candles. Yes, I will. I burnt sage. I'm going to burn an incense. And there I go. I feel better today because everything is working. Everything is working. And now I'm ready to make moves. All right? Because I sure enough was getting on that next plane. I don't play that shit. Honey, I'm serious about what I said. Okay, Karma Del Marco. Okay? Okay? That's where we at. All right? Now, let's get going. So I see you going from sweetie to cutting shit off, saying, I ain't being sweet no more. Fuck this shit. I need to know that I am worth everything. And I need to get moves, make moves. Pisces, man, y'all are just like loving me right now. Everything is moving. And I thank God. I need a cross. I need crosses in my home. I need candles lit up. I cannot be somewhere without no cross, without no candles.
confused. And even though I know what I know lives in me, I still need, I still need it. I need to feel it. I need to see it. Again, God's been talking to me for like three days, nonstop. He knows I can be impatient. He knows I just start going crazy when things don't seem right. He knows it. I can't help myself. I start losing my mind. Over this, just over you, I, we, I cannot. I realize how important it really is. How important it really is to be an American. It is. I realize how important it is to see that red, white, and blue flag to walk to dirt in America. It ain't no place like home, even though I'm here, even though I like it, even though I can see my business growing here, but it ain't no place like home. Nothing like home. And I'm proud to be in America. Red, white, and blue, we go all the way. I just wish that we can all stick together and make a difference. And I'm telling you no lie. It's beautiful where I'm at, but nothing beats that red, white, and blue. People die to come to America to live their dreams. I just want y'all to know how beautiful we are. How we are. Every kind of nationality in one. And I come here and all the Americans, all the Americans flock down to me. Come to me, they say. Miss Lisa, don't go. Please don't go. We're here to help you, Miss Lisa. They came in and did everything for me, everything. Bought me food, drinks, everything. Refill my refrigerator. Bought me water. Told me not to drink the water. Ice cubes to make ice cubes. It's overwhelming to know how important it is to be an American. How when you need us, we come into one. I'm telling you, I woke up and all of these people here fixing things, doing things. I told my aunt, no towels and no watch call. I got more than enough to give. Soaps, everything. It's crazy, but it happened for me. And I'm telling you right now, I didn't even know because, you know, you come somewhere, it's different when you go to a hotel because everything is there. But when you have your own place, you don't realize that you're coming and boy, I need soaps, I need this, I need that. I bought my pot and pans, but little did I know, it was a lot more than I needed. And it's like everybody came. Everyone. And I thank them all. Pisces, my fellow Pisces, they all came. Thank y'all. All right, here we go, Pisces. Renewal. Okay. Renewal. Um, you got, uh, this is judgment. Renewal. It says renewal, judgment. To ten, a pinnacle. Capricorn towards a Virgo. You got 
this car fell out on the top. The eight of wands. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And then you got the two. The car that fell out over all. The two of cups. Chimna, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Come on, Lisa. Come on, Mom. Come on, spirits. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. Come on, Mom. Renewal. Judgment. Listen to me. I see a family here. And this is deep. This is all about relationships. Everything is going to be happening fast to you. Like I said, I'm not here to meet nobody. At all. Not even a little. I don't know nobody here. All these people that came here. My friend Sharon, she lives here. And she's in the state. And all these people she called, that came running. To make me feel at home. I thank her. Reviewing. Okay. The past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clear on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. I feel like whoever it is, Pisces, whatever Pisces this is going to be for, It's someone here that you might have left. It seems like it's a family here. Maybe got kids involved. I don't know. I don't have kids this small. Um, but someone here is wanting for you to forgive them. I don't know if you moved away from them. I don't know um, what it is. If you got a court case or whatever with these people. But they want to be a family with you. Is people coming to you wanting to get back with you, Pisces. And I know y'all saying all this, Miss Lisa, I'll never want to see this man again. But whoever this is, it looks to me like you're pregnant. Or you get ready to have a baby. But it looks to me like this person is very sorry for everything they've done to you. And like I said, people are coming back. Because they know, Pisces, they know that we're good people. And we don't deserve the things that they do to us at all. Um, financially secure, Pisces, for you and your family, Pisces. Inheritor or retirement, Pisces from your ancestors, or either going into your own business. Peace and contentment in your life. You're happy where you're at. Honor your family trades. Taking pride into your family trees and what you do. Teaching your kids, or my Pisces, okay? Passing on knowledge, things that I want you to do and to know. Not to be afraid to take the challenge. And whether it's a challenge with someone else that it won't serve you wrong. I don't know who it is or whatever it is that's coming here. But the whole reading right here is about you used to be nice, too nice. And you cut these people off. And you went to a hermit mode. And then this person wants to renew everything with you now. Okay? This person wants to be that family they used to have with you. They're missing you. Somebody here like either you had a baby or you're having a baby. Um, but it's it's a lot of happiness involved here. I feel like um, it's too much um, going on right now with you. Stress caused by positive um, opportunities. Um, and I can relate to that. Um, unexpected events or what should change in your life. 
um, the ability to mass test uh, a business or traveling opportunity. You're going into a new business, you're traveling. Wherever you go, you're going to land. You, It's like a family here that's waiting. There's someone here waiting for you. And I don't know if it's somebody new or old, but it says compassion and forgiveness. Okay? Now, you know, I know how y'all feel about this, but somebody here, the two of cups, wants to give it to you, wants to exchange the gift, the vows, wants to marry you, wants to take it to a whole nother level. Okay, and that's the now, all right, the now. It's like this person is like head over heels over you. And let me tell you something, I don't know who the fuck is head over heels over me, but whoever it is, I can't wait to meet them. I can't wait, all right? I can't wait to meet them, all right? Falling in love or um, reserve of a romance relationship, forgiveness and the end of a challenge is changing gifts. Don't give up on people you love. And I'm telling you, for some reason, this person to me feels like someone you have known. Okay? It don't say nobody knew. It says, forget. And again, it says right here. Okay? It's changed gifts and vows. It's someone you have known that is dying to come back to you. All right? Now, like I said, if it's for me, I don't know. I don't know who loves me that much or who wants to be with me that much. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Don't know anything. Whatever it is, God will reveal it. All right? He will reveal it. But I know I've been through a lot. Let's see what's coming on in the back to the front. All right? You're balancing everything off now. You're not crazy. You're not delusional. You're balancing everything, career, relationship, your money, okay, your time, your effort. You're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You're saying, listen, I'm not putting no time and no effort to nobody that ain't worth my damn time. Either you are or you ain't because there ain't going to be no more of them little games. I ain't got time for that shit, okay? So if they can't balance you, and I'm going to tell you another little thing about this too of, um, Pinnacles, um, it may be a Capricorn in your life, a Taurus or a Virgo, but whoever this is, it might have been a rough start because it shows rough. But baby, 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 they balancing shit. It says work too hard, multiple jobs, okay? The need to bring both unbalanced and fun to your life. Juggling multiple prerogative, balancing and budget. So balance and don't spend all the time. Balance everything, okay? To start, Aquarius. You got an Aquarius with you? You seen an Aquarius? You had an Aquarius? You got Aquarius in your chart, whatever it is, all right? Um, whatever it is, whoever it is, they standing up. They not kneeling down. They not wishing. They standing up. They know what they know. And that's like an Aquarius. Because an Aquarius, they, it got to make sense to them. And shit's got to be popping off right. Okay? Um, whoever this is got one foot in the door and one out. One in the, in the water and one out. They trying to figure it out. And again, balancing shit. Having faith in the future is brighter. Dreams come true. Positive change that brings in... Oh, and ending to the challenging times in your life. The light at the end of the tunnel. You have all of that over and over telling you in the readings. End of a challenge. Happy new beginnings. Okay? Someone here wants to make it right. It takes two to make it right. It takes two to make it right. And that's the way the song goes. You understand? It, may, it takes two. And this person is wanting to balance with you. I think this person realized... You know, you ain't playing. Like, you really going to go. Like, you really doing something. Like, if they don't believe you're doing something, you're doing it. Whether they believe it or not, it doesn't even matter. You're doing it. And they start to see that you're doing it. They A lot of y'all done moved on and leaving people behind. I mean, literally leaving them. Literally moving out the door. Okay? And I ain't talking about to another apartment. I'm talking about to a whole other state. 
country, you're out of there. All right? Uh, I think you've done enough. I think you feel like enough is enough. Okay? Okay. Look at this. Okay, now, Pisces. Check it out, Pisces. You got the seven of cups. Stop procrastinating, over-exaggerating. Get clear on what you desire and move forward. Too many obstacles, too many, um, like, um, too much for you to choose from, too much um, going on, okay? Or too much going on that you are addicted to. Because it's just like, you, I feel like whoever it is, Aquarius, Aries, air sign is, I feel like it's an addiction that you may like about this person. Maybe they sex, and maybe it's something about them and it's something about y'all that um, needed to be balanced to make it clear. And it, it, I don't know, it could be any sign, but somebody here was trying to balance everything, career, love, relationship, family, having fun, hanging out, um, giving it all, but you're doing it right this time. You ain't playing, okay? Somebody here wants to come to you. The same way I'm saying about you is the same way I'm saying that they're doing on their end and you're doing on this end. It seems like two people here at Sky. Um, if they look at you like you got a lot of choices. They look at you that wherever you at, um, they don't trust um, where you at. It's, I feel like they seeing you with a whole lot of shit going on. And in their head, they may be thinking it's a lot, but it ain't shit going on for real, for real. Because you are not even thinking about that kind of shit. You're focusing on some other shit. And it ain't no another person. It's you. Okay, it's what you're doing. It's your money, right? Spicy, let's get going with this. Somebody is on you, and it's on you, and it's somebody that's been in your life before that is on you, on you. Like, they, they on you. You know what I mean? Like, whatever, they thinking a whole lot of shit. It's a lot of shit that's crossing their mind, a whole lot of stuff that's crossing their mind. When I mean a lot, a lot. Somebody is the infinity sign keeps showing up. And it's whoever this is, it's meant to be. Y'all two are meant to be. It's a divine connection here with the universe and y'all. Okay? Now, it says, as above, as below. Okay? Heaven and earth. It's got to be. It's, it's always the good and the bad. But let me tell you something. When, why you here on this earth? Do everything, everything you ever wanted to do. And make sure you do it with a kind heart, a giving heart, a loving heart. Do you understand? Because you will always be rewarded for everything you do. Remember I told you that. You can't buy kindness. You can't buy respect. You can't buy loyalty. That is all free. You don't buy love. Love is free. Remember that. Someone here, the infinity keeps popping up on you. Someone is offering you the cup. They want to give you that. They want to give you back. They want you to drink from their cup. It felt like the cup was dry, but now they, they fill that cup to the top and they want you to share their cups. I feel like now they know what it is not to have you. They finally see you for who you are, for how much you meant to them. Okay? Look at you. It says, untap the energy. And that's what you do. You untap it when you go into yourself and you get to know who you are. No one can ever touch you. No one will ever touch you. And when you get to really know, no, 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 no. Like I said, it's been three days, three nights, long nights. I've been sitting there talking to God. I felt like when I woke up, it was like two o'clock. In the afternoon, it was only five in the morning. But the whole time I was, literally, I felt like I was in a peaceful place in my life. And it felt like God was saying, 
Listen, relax. I got you. You overreacting. Relax. And I still full force moving because I felt like I needed to reach out to you. But God said, I said, wait a minute and wait for people to get up and I will get you all straightened out. That's what he did. And I started looking, where's my sage? I wrapped my sage up as soon as I got. You know, when I was leaving, I wrapped my sage up. I wrapped my Palo Santo up. I wrapped my uh, flower water up. I wrapped things that I know that I need to repair. I need it in my life. You know, they don't have a tub here, but I know to put that salt in my palm of my hand and let the water run through me in my salt. I must do that. Okay? You look for all, for everything you're looking for. It's going to make you feel complete. And it's you that you're looking for. Can't nobody complete you but you. No one. I hear people say, oh, well, he completes me. No, the fuck he don't. The only one that will ever complete you is your body, mind, and soul. Okay, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And don't you ever forget that. Because God will never deceive you or lie to you or leave you. Okay, remember I said I went to sleep and it says emerge into your grace. Open up your soul gracefully. And that's how I felt like I did. I felt like I was in my sleep, but still I woke up like, okay, I need to get this working. And God said, it ain't nobody up, girl. Stop tripping. I got you. But I still, because God said, you still don't believe in me, Miss Lisa? I still got to show you all the miracles I do for you. You still don't believe in me. Oh, now you tripping. You tripping. He says, stand firm. Stand firm. With that red flag, I am noble, brave, and strong. Okay, you sitting on top of the world. Look at the moon. I mean, look at the sun. Bright as fuck. And you standing there in your truth. In your strength, in your power, in your power, you're standing there. People are watching you like a hawk, okay? He said, how can this girl do this? How? Like, she ain't that damn bright. You may think whatever the fuck you want, but I know for a fact who I am. And what you do is you start cleaning shit, clearing shit up to see what you need and what you don't need in your life. You start sweeping that shit away. You start throwing shit in the trash. Giving shit away. Give it. Like they said to you, oh, I leave you. Okay, put me in the trash. Somebody else was picking me up. And that's exactly what you did. You're starting to put things away, throw things in the trash, give things away. Okay, because what's your trash is somebody else's beauty. And don't ever forget that, okay? It says, milk and honey, take them baths, honey. Because look, take them baths, honey. Ooh, wee. Look at that. Look at the um, rainbow. It says round. You're going straight up to your eye, to your head. You know, you keep thinking about everything. It keeps playing in your mind, right? You may take them salt baths, but you, 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 it's a lot of things going through your head. Um, the higher power is that third eye. It's funny how it shows it here. You may go round and round, but you open up that third power. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, whatever it is that you, um, you don't assume it is what it is. It's the truth. Okay? You see things for what it is. All right? They, they can't pull a whammy on you. They can't say you're naive or they're trying to play you out like you're some stupid uh, like you ain't smart enough. That's a damn lie. You smart as you gonna be and ever be, honey. You way beyond. Been here many times before, damn it. Okay, look at this. Clean house again. It says a clean house in your car more than one time. All right, clean that house. Give away shit. A lot of things need to be given away. People, give people away. Yeah, they don't serve you. Give them to somebody else, damn it, shit. 
Let that shit go to them. All right? It says sparking. It says, it seems like you heard the violin. You heard that song before. You heard, you know, it's like you you breaking up with somebody, you left somebody alone, but they're playing the same old rhythm they played before. You heard that before you. You heard the same words before. It's like, I don't even know because you done said that before to me. You know how many times you said it, all right? It says, making a choice. Make that choice, okay? Now, make the choice. And look what I bought with me. I ain't crazy, right? It's like you're making a choice from the past and the present, all right? You want to be making a choice, honey. You may feel um like you going through something, but somebody here is, is ready to make a serious choice in their life. And whatever it is, you might be breaking a heart, but somebody may think that you're coming back, but you may not be coming back to them. Maybe you find somebody new. Maybe somebody else is going to make you happier than they ever made you. You can't feel bad about how things happen. Things happen on their time. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes people have the opportunity and they blow it. And when they blow it, ain't nothing you can do about that. Okay? So you said meditate to get the answers. You're going to be successful at what you want and what you're asking for. Okay? Opportunity is there for you, for you, for the taking. And I'm going to say it again. You know, it may be someone in your life that, um, it may be someone in your life that it wanted for you to be with them. But maybe now you're not, you're moving on. Maybe you have decided that um, they're no longer in the plan. They're no longer in your life. You don't want to be there. I feel like a community of people are going to be there to friendship, fun. You're going to have a lot of fun around these people. I mean, all these people are like down to earth. They, they want you to be a part of a new community. It's somewhere new. And it seems like it's where I'm at. It's like these people are like flocking to help me. Miss Lisa, what else do I got to make you feel at home? Everything is here. What do you want? Please don't go nowhere. It says lessons. Okay, knowing, understanding, looking for the lessons in the situation, all right? It seems like you making a move is also teaching you lessons in life, all right? How to appreciate where you're from and where you're going. Like, it's two worlds. You can live this world and live that one too, but don't ever forget where you come from, okay? It says crossroad. Listen to this, honey. It says Divine, a path, choice, confusion. It says, follow your intuitions. They don't lie to you. It's choices. A lot of things that are starting to come your way. It's a lot of things that you're going to be making choices about in your life. It's a lot of things that you once thought that you can couldn't live without, but now you said, uh, oh, that it ain't, wasn't, wasn't that serious. I feel like for some reason, I feel like you're catching up to um whoever this individual was. They taught you lessons after lessons. I felt like the lessons that they taught you was there to um, uh, school you in a way that they never thought that they did, but they, they really taught you lessons. These cars are flying everywhere, okay? Um, I'm so happy that I'm finally getting to see you again. Mwah! I love you. Love ya! Did you hear me? Do I got to scream more loud? It says, whisper, whisper. Everything that you want is whispering to you. Like I said, God, seems like I don't get no sleep these days because he's talking to me. He's telling me a lot of stuff. Okay, it says, sensitivity. Be sensitive about stuff. Your roles. You are a rose. I feel like, honey, this is a time where you are like, oh, boy. People are looking at you like, ooh, look at this lady. She got a lot, a lot of knowledge. Out of wisdom, they looking at me when I talk. They like, like, what is wrong with these people? Okay, it says soul mate, mm. calling your soul mate, call them in because somebody's saying, be soft when you speak. 
Be the rose that you are. Be gentle because this person is coming for you, right? Let your light shine into the world, into the universe. You have a heart of gold. Your heart is so full of life, Pisces. You are just full of life. It shows it here. It shows it here. It shows this connection that is unbelievable. I feel like whoever or wants to come back in your life or is in your life or is wanting you, tasting you, is, is something huge, okay? Something huge is coming your way in it. Maybe you ain't used to being sweet because you're used to everything coming to you sour and mean and vicious, okay? Now, this card came, and I never read cards upside down, but this card came upside down in this codependence. I feel like you broke that. I feel like whatever it was, you broke that codependency that was between you and someone else. It says getting to know each other. As you reveal your intimate self to each other, you bond deeply. I feel like with whoever it was that you felt like you was codependent or, or something connected to them, you broke that connection. It, like you start to see them like this person ain't jack shit. You know what I mean? It says real soon, all right, clear decision on what you want so that it will come to you. I feel like somebody here, you broke up out of a codependence that you had with a person. It's no longer the same as it was once before. I feel like you done let go of a person here that it just wasn't right for you, okay? Um, it was, remember I said that bird, you know, when I seen the snake and all, and the birds kept coming in, making sure that that snake, did that snake eat them little eggs or whatever? But look, it seems like they're going back home. It's like everything is clear after this codependence. Seems like the birds now want to, now they can come, but they're they being alert. Make sure that snake ain't coming back, okay? But you're, let, you're letting go of something. You cut off something here, all right? Um, somebody is watching you. You got people talking and somebody talking and watching you. Somebody's probably watching your social media um, and all of that. But I see that they look at you like everything. And I'm going to tell you something. And, and I don't want to be disrespectful to nobody. But I'm going to say something to you right now. I see a lot of y'all. And I don't, and I, I'm, and I can really say names too. All right? But I see a lot of y'all a little bit too fucking much. You ain't got to be on no Instagram and no goddamn Facebook showing your bodies and all that shit. Trying to get that attention from whoever in the worst way. I cannot believe when I go into my Instagram that I got Pisces, all Pisces there. Some of them pictures I see that y'all post of yourself, it makes me disgusting. Okay? I value me. I love me. I ain't got to show nobody my motherfucking body. Okay? All that shit. What is that for? Why don't you just go ahead and get yourself one of those deals where you sit there and just show your body and get paid for somebody. You know, I mean, it's really fucking ridiculous. Them pictures I be seeing y'all post. For everybody to see y'all looking like that. What the fuck? I'm like, that is so fucking disrespectful to yourself. Don't you know you've been through a lot in your life already? A lot in your life. Don't you value you? Why do you do that to yourself? Is that the kind of attention you want? Damn. I, I believe, I'm telling you. I have to say that because I... I'm going to put a title up there on my Instagram and I'm going to speak to everybody on my Instagram that want to show their body parts. That ain't the way that you can attract anything good in your life. Okay? 
and that wasn't part of this reading, but I needed to say that because that shit is fucking ignorant as fuck. It's so fucking like real low class, real, real pretty ass bitches sitting there showing. I'm like, what the fuck, uh, honey? I I'm about to um, politely delete your ass for my um, Instagram. I don't have that kind of shit on my shit, and I will delete your ass. And I'm not playing. You think I'm playing with you? I bet you won't be on there. Okay? Come on now. Connect to yourself. Don't look at yourself, you little. Look at yourself like the highest thing. Damn, what the fuck? Mm, 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 mm. I don't believe it. Look at this. Protection. Somebody is protecting their heart. Somebody is not letting nobody come in their heart. Somebody is protecting um, not only their heart, somebody's protecting their relationship. Oh my God, look at this shit. Surrounding, surrender. Somebody needs to surrender to a relationship being. Somebody is saying to you, surrender Pisces, surrender to me. They saying, come to me. How Tupac says, come to me. Um, It ain't nowhere to run. Come back to me. Okay, and some of y'all saying, I'm going to run for my damn life. Because somebody is watching you, your social media, your everything. And like I said, I'm going to burn this age, honey. Burn it. This is a whole new place, and it needs to be. I put holy water all up in this baby. And that's what I'm getting ready to do. Pisces. If you need a reader for me or anyone else, get it, Pisces. Get it while you can. I love you all. I'm here for you. Know your worth. Ain't no need to sit there on Instagram and show your body like that. And that ain't part of this reading, but I'm going to have to tell you about it because it is my Instagram, and I don't appreciate that shit. You got that shit? Do you got that? And you're a Pisces? You must be the dark Pisces. Because ain't nobody in the light Pisces living like that. Okay? You ain't doing it in my house. And I'm going to delete your ass. Alright? Yes, I am. Delete you and your damn little ass pictures. I don't give a fuck who you are. Everybody I see doing that shit, I'm going to delete you. Delete, 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 delete. Now, why don't you see if you're still on there? I'm deleting you off my page. And I'm not playing. Alright, Pisces. And I'm not talking about this ain't part of your reading. But I'm, I'm not going to allow that. In my YouTube. I don't give a flying fuck who you are. You want to do that shit? Do it on your shit. Not on my shit. Alright? I talk to y'all later. One love. Peace, love, and happiness. And I'll see you this afternoon. Mwah! See you. Bye.